Hi everyone, I'm JC and in this video I'm going to show you how I did this piggy bang animation. Okay, this is the file. So as you can see here, I have two animations and the steam machine. In the steam machine, I use one input to switch between one animation to another. So let's start with the design part. The design part is very simple. You can see the piggy and the coin. For the piggy, I use simple shape, like ellipses, like a square with round corner. But the most important part is the body, because the whole character is the body. So to make this body, you can use an ellipse, draw something like this, convert to path, select all the vertex, change the type of vertex to mirror, and increase the length, something like this. And that's it. This is the body of the character. For the coin, the coin is very simple too. You only need an ellipse. I'm going to use the same color. Copy this color. Add a stroke. Copy the color too. And that's it. This is the coin. But uh, in the video, you can see how the uh, coin is spinning in the air. So if you try this, you can see how in this moment the coin is flat. And I don't want that, I want the thickness of the coin. So a good trick to fix this is here in the stroke properties, this option, transform effects. If you deselect this option, when you try now, you can see how the stroke is not affected by the transformation. And this is good because now we have the thickness of the coin. One thing here is in this moment, you can see how the stroke changes here. This is, be, uh, this is because the join type of the stroke. So to fix this, go to the stroke properties and change the type of the join to rounder. And now when you try, work fine. And that's it. This is all about the design part. Let's see the animation. We have two different animations. The idle and the animation of the coin. The idle is something like uh, the pig is breathing. So in one moment, the pig is stretched and another moment, the pig is squashed. For the animation of the coin is where the piggy eject the coin, the coin is spin in the air and go back to the piggy. So let's see how I made this animation. The first animation I'm going to do is the idle. I only need two poses. The first pose is when the piggy is stretched and the second pose is when the piggy is squashed. Using these two poses, I can create the effect of the breathing. So I'm going to rename this animation Idle. And now the first thing I'm going to do is key the actual side of the piggy. And copy this key because I want to use uh, for the second pose. Now this first pose can be something like this, a little bit stretch, not too much. The second pose here in the middle of the timeline, I'm going to paste the key and now I can start for the original size and change this pose a little bit squash, not too much. And now I'm going to copy this key and paste to the final to close the loop. Okay, select all the keys and add cube interpolation. And now when I try, 
this is the piggy breeding so I'm going to change the type of animation to loop and now we have the first animation the second animation is the animation of the coin so let's see how works this animation as you can see here this animation has different actions the first action is this anticipation is where the piggy prepares to eject the coin the second action is where the piggy eject the coin the coin is spin in the air and go back and the third action is where the piggy reacts to the coin is like a little, uh, a little bouncing so I'm going to add a new animation rename coin and key the actual side of the piggy okay don't worry now about the time you need for this animation the best you can do is add some keys and then you can move this key to find the time you need so don't worry for this now okay the first uh, action we need is the anticipation is where the piggy uh, prepared to uh, eject the coin so in one moment I don't know where maybe here the piggy is squashed so maybe something like this and in another moment when the piggy eject the coin uh, the piggy is stretched so maybe something like this squash stretch okay so I'm going to add a good interpolation and try okay this is the idea but you can see uh, the animation is slow so I'm going to move this key here and this key here and try again and this is better maybe this a little bit more okay this is better so in this moment I want this movement with more uh, energy so I'm going to select this key and change the curve like this so so the action is more faster here and more slow here and if you can try now have more energy in this moment Whoop. Whoop. and in this part when the, the, the piggy eject the coin I need this movement more uh, explosive so I'm going to change this curve like this from slow to faster okay Whoop. Whoop this looks better okay the coin the coin in this moment can be here inside to the to the piggy because I change the position of the coin I'm going to copy this key go to the idle and paste here because in the idle the coin needs to be inside to the piggy too so the piggy prepared to the action the piggy eject the coin and the coin from here need to get out to the piggy so in one moment maybe here the coin can be in this position and because this action this movement of the piggy is explosive I need the coin uh, explosive too so I'm going to select this key and change this curve like this from faster to slow and try okay looks good maybe a little bit more time 
Okay. So the coin get out to the piggy and then go back. So I don't know what time I need here. I'm going to add more time in the timeline. Okay, but yeah, I don't know what time, but maybe here. So I'm going to copy this key and paste this the back. So here the coin go to faster to slow, and from here the coin need to be from slow to faster. So I'm going to select this key and change this curve like this from slow to faster and try this ah, looks good but you can see how the coin here is faster here this part is more slow and this part is more faster Look. so I'm going to move this key maybe here try now Yeah, a little bit, there's maybe here. Yep, this looks better. Whoop, boom. Whoop, boom. Okay, so what happened with the piggy when the coin is in the air? So the piggy from here need to uh, go back to the normal size. Maybe something like a little uh, bouncing. So I'm going to copy then the initial size and maybe here, uh, point here, paste this key. And in this moment, can be a little bit squash. And here, pass the key again. This from a stretch to a squash to the normal size. So make sure this key is cubic and try this. Yep. Looks good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so now the pig prepare to the action, the pig eject the coin, the coin go to here and go back. One thing I want to change here is this moment because uh, you can see how the pig eject the coin, but the coin start from here. And in this moment, I want to the coin be here in this position and this action is more faster. So I'm going to select all this key and move maybe here, here is good because now the piggy eject the coin and the coin got out in this moment. Yeah, this is perfect. Just in this moment. So this, whoop, looks better now. Okay, so the third action is when the P reacts to the coin. And see the coin go back, and from here, from here, I'm going to copy this key, the last key of the P. And in one moment, because the coin go back, in one moment, the P squash. Maybe something like this. And like this moment is a, a, a little bouncing. So go back to squash. Copy this key here to the normal side. And in this moment it's a little bit like this stretch. So 
goes quasi stretch and the final skin, the normal skin here, okay. Okay, make sure all these have cube interpolation and we try, okay. Yeah, you can see this part is slow, so this part is very slow. So this first moment need to be more faster. So I want to move all this key like this. And the other thing is the coin go to slow to fast. So this first action need to be from uh, fast to slow. So select this key and change the curve like this. Yes, it's better. So, we try now, bang, whoop, bang. Maybe we can do more here. More is squash it. More energy here to Okay, this looks great. Whoop, bang. Whoop, bang. Whoop, bang. Okay, the last thing is the coin. The coin, we'll see in the video how the coin is spin in the air. So, let's sell the coin. And in this moment, I'm going to use the scale of the of the X to make the spin so in this moment I'm going to key the X in this moment the X need to be uh, negative and for the last copy the first key and paste here and add cubing interpolation And you can see how it's being in the air. So let's try. Bring back. Bring back. That's it. This is all about the animation part. The last thing I want to show you is the stay machine. The stay machine in this animation is very simple. I only use uh, input to switch between one animation to another. So, I'm going to add a new state machine. And what I need here is the two animations. The idle and the coin animation. And one input, so I'm going to add a trigger. Rename preset. And now I need one transition from entry to idle and another transition from idle to coin. And in this transition, I need a condition that is the input I, I select, press it. So if I play the stay machine, when I click in press it, switch the animation. Click and switch. But uh, the other thing I need is when the coin animation finish, go back to the idle. So I need other transition in opposite direction. And in this transition, check this option, exit time, and change this uh, value to 100%. This that mean when this animation, the timeline, finish go back to the idle so if i try now when i click press it switch and go back click switch and go back that's it this is all about this animation you can try using this file or you can create something different like this i hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you have any question please 
leave the comment on the video or visit our community. So have fun and see you in the next video.